Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome to this video. We're back here in this video. It's a bit spitting right now, a little a bit of rain. It was raining, it was hailstones about a few minutes ago. And it has become with sun sun and rain, rain and sunny makes a rainbow, which is fantastic. I saw the rainbow. I've never seen a rainbow in my life. I tell you what, that rainbow got me. Um, so that is really interesting. Yes. Today it's Friday. The um the what's it called the twenty fourth of March. This is a, like a start of the week. This is like what it is, what it is. Just wanna just wanna get in there. It's gonna be more spits of rain again. I can't remember what it is, but yeah. Here comes the rain, just a bit of rain, but ain't too much. It was heavy air hailstones. Um tell you what, this is feels like what it is. Tomorrow's Saturday, after the sun, after Saturday, the clock's about to go forward. So hopefully, what's going to be happening with it almost as well. So hopefully you get into what it's been in mirror short as well. Thank you. There we are. There we go. So hopefully you'll get prepared for it, uh, for, or prepared for spring. Feels like getting prepared, feels like getting prepared for spring, get some rainbows in, like, Rainy and sunny makes uh, all sort of collusions of of like a collapse. You know, it feels like what it is, but what it is. So I think I feel as like wow, I can't believe it feels like what it is. This week was fantastic. This is the start of Ramadan this year. It's, this year is on Ramadan, especially especially didn't sell that one because they put up a new um, what's it put put up Ramadan lights. I like Christmas, but it's like. Uh, Ramadan they put up, this is the first time London put up Ramadan for the first time ever in years. And especially, uh, especially on um, next week, because me and mum after see, after seeing like a, a few minutes of the candles, it was Hans Zimmer. Me and mum off to like Pakistan, the restaurant in somewhere in Ilford, what you call it. Because Ilford is like an Asian place, that's a bit of the best community in, in, in culture in East London, especially as well. Ilford's a nice place. The Nana used to live in Ilford. Is it Ramadan Islam or Hindu? Uh, Islam, yeah. It's just, Islam. Well, to celebrate. This is the first time ever. Um, is it Muslim or Hindi? Yeah, Muslim, yeah. Celebrate, celebrate other people. Well, so that one with the moon and stuff like that. And Mahira celebrates as well. Mahira from next, from the whole next door neighbor, which is so fantastic. They, he, she celebrates Ramadan as well. Uh, this, is, this is today. This, this is like today. It's the first so day. It's, it's this, Christmas. like Christmas. This is this is day three. Um, day three. This is day three right here. And especially celebrate Ramadan. Me and mum off to the restaurant in in Ilford, like Royal Harab, we call it. I can't remember what it is. So, mum booked tickets to see the next month of, what's it called, after the next month, which is May, which is at the end of, at the end of the fifth month, which is May, because it's called, um, what is it called? What's it called again? Um, Spitty Image in the West End. Yeah, Spitty Image, you know, Boris Johnson, but Donald Trump, um, now, beyond, now Joe Bull, Joe Biden. Um, what he was called celebrities of the UK and the US, and especially in, around the world. And yeah, this is what it feels like, uh, paying for watching as well. Especially this week was fan harsh. It felt that good as well. I was watching the best British comedy film called Isn't Mark, which is in Peckham slash Brixton, like movie, what do you call it? Which is so fantastic. It was hilariously hilarious. Mum's enjoyed it as well. Me and Mum are enjoying watching uh, called Ray Lane, which is the one in, in South London, where I call it. Um, this is so fantastic, and especially, and the, uh, especially the satire, and some funny jokes too. It was Alexia hilarious. It was fantastic. Back, best black British comedy I've ever seen. But like, what do you have one's called? I don't even know. But it was so hilarious, by the way. Go check out. In cinemas, probably in, in cinema near you in the UK, probably somewhere around the world. So, I'd also, Monday, about 10 o'clock so on Monday, I've gone back, just chilled, and I'm watching, like, a documentary that How Georgia Harrison and Georgia Harrison made, which is called Georgia vs. Bear, or Revenge Porn, Georgia vs. Bear, I've been watching. It was, uh, it was interesting, it was so, like, emotional, it was so, what do you call it, after the day of the event of 
of Stephen Bear because of the, <laughs> of the CCT of Section Seconders Garden in Chelmsford in Essex, in Essex home, which is, which is what it is, which is Georgia Ann Bear was lived in Essex, if you probably know that, in, lived in Essex, what a, what a kind of what area in Essex, but I count it, yes. Um, Stephen Bear was lived, yeah, Stephen Bear was born in Walthamstow, that's why I, used to, I lived there. Um, this is what it feels like, what the film is good, well done to Georgia Harrison, it now became like a, um, the campaign, or is what you call it. Um, Georgia Harrison was a superstar. I feel I she did so well. Georgia Harrison, if you're watching this, well done. You did so well. And um, finally, George, finally, Stephen Bear is jailed for 21 or two and a half years in prison. I've been watching that in full. I've watched it for the 3rd of March. Stephen Bell was jailed for two years in jail, two years in prison, two years, twenty-one months. What I call it, it was, it was so, it was so, so surprising. Like, got onto his point of watching five news on YouTube, stuff like that, and it was like socials. And also, George Hauser made an idea to have an ITV documentary. It was on ITV two at ten p.m. and it's going to be repeating it on Sunday night. So hopefully, hopefully, I'm going to see that again. Well, whatever it is. The documentary was so emotional, sad, and it was incredible and heartbreak and stuff like that. I loved it. He was like his contestant of Love Island and the only way the only way is Essex and stuff like that. The challenge and everything's really amazing as well. Um, Georgia Harrison did a pretty good job, and he did so proud along with his mum, his her mum as well. That's what he called. Um, for the first time I watched it, watch, I just saw like Stephen Bear. Like, I was watching on YouTube, it's like what it is. Um, I don't even know what's been going on. So Georgia Harrison did a really good, really nice, really nice, brave. So brave, so beautiful, so proud. Georgia Harrison, which is fantastic, which is like a best, a best speech that he read. Uh, just right at the back of Chelmsford Court Road. It's, right, it's not far from here, but it's not far from it from... For my area, but in Chelmsford, we call it Chelmsford Crown Court. That's where, uh, that's where the other one as well happened on the twenty fifth of July last year, which you saw it on on YouTube, which is Marek. Marek, we call it. The name is Marek. We call it. Now he's been jailed for life. I just saw it on YouTube, on Essex Police YouTube channel. So this is where chaos is going to happen. This is where I just. Scene right there. So I'm watching a documentary. I'm going to watch it, pretty watching it uh, as well on Sunday night. And hopefully, what I'm explain and watch is really watch it, like what's going to happen next to Georgia Harrison after what it is. It's now finally um, now Georgia Harrison is happily lives right now. Um, I'm so pleased. I'm, I'm really so pleased that all the people from the fan, all the Georgia Harrison fans are so happy and so pleased that that is so fantastic. I've watching it was fantastic. I can't explain what just really happened. Like Georgia Harrison did a really good job, get a prize as well at that. I can't believe it. I can really can't believe it. What's just really hit watching, but I'm so pleased and I watched it all the way to the end. It was just quite like sad and emotional at the same time, but it's quite anxious. But Georgia did the right thing. They did the right thing to like being a, a victim or, or what you call it. And this is what, what it's all about. I've watched it all the way to the end and it feels like, wow, I can't believe Georgia Harrison did the documentary. And she did so proud. Did oh, so. Pr she? Yeah, I saw it on the news on the 3rd of March. I saw it like this. At the start of this month, it like now turned into a, a documentary of about the trial. I mean, this is what it feels what to be on the what it hears like news and gossip, gossip and court. So how long did he get banged up for? Uh, 21 years, 20, 21 months. 21 months? And the two years, yeah, Stephen Bear, yeah. Do you think that was long enough or not long enough? Yeah, but it was a bit long enough, but I don't even know. I've watched Stephen Bear on Instagram back in the day. I didn't, I didn't know what's been happening. He did, did like, Instagram, um, YouTube vlogs as well. He did his vlogs too. Really? I don't even know why it is, but I, I do recognise. Um, 
I can't believe what, what just really happening. I know where it is, but thankfully I've watched it and yeah, did a good, Georgia Harrison did a big what, award. Channel 4? No, ITV2, which oh. is the second sister channel for ITV. Um, it was so proud, I can't believe it. So I'm gonna end this one right here. And um, I, this is what video, this week was amazing. I was chilled out for the whole week, well, for the whole day. And I was watching on Sat on Monday night. I'm gonna watch it on Sunday night because they're gonna be watching it repeat repeatedly. And also could watch it on streaming service, ITVX. So hopefully I'll get prepared for watching, what do you call it? So hopefully I get watching or Back we could watch it repeatedly time and time again to see what explained of Georgia and Stephen Bear, where Georgia Harris and Stephen Bear feud, where he wanted to call it as well, like uh, some like OnlyFans, I call it. So thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good day. Have a guys nice weekend, by the way. And now I'll tell you what, it's sunny now, sunny day, and now let's get a plate and enjoy some beautiful, beautiful um spring this year i don't need that for spring i do have a bomber jacket so hopefully i'll get prepared for it in time for spring thanks for watching take care goodbye